Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Not too long ago, I did a review on the Litheim Group 24 12 volt 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. I'll go ahead and put a link to it right up here. Uh, it passed all my tests and it's a very good uh, basic battery. Well, Litheim went ahead and upped their game and sent me more stuff to check out. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what we have. All right, and what we have is another 12 volt, 100 amp hour group 24 battery and a 20 amp charger for lithium iron phosphate batteries. So let's go ahead and open up the battery first. Okay, now here is the, uh, here, wait. No, okay, now here is the battery I just opened. They look identical. They're identical in size because they're both group 24, uh, form factors, which means that they can be an easy drop-in replacement for your RVs. The difference between this one and this one is this one is just a basic battery that holds 100 amp hours. This one is a smart version of this battery. So we are going to go ahead and do uh, the regular testing and we will open up the app to find out how smart this battery really is. Okay, so here are the physical dimensions of this Group 24 Litheim battery. You're looking at eight and a quarter inches in height, 10 inches in width, and depth is just a scotch over six and a half inches. And it weighs in right at 22.3 pounds. Okay, with all other batteries, whenever you get one, you should always test the voltage to make sure that the battery is working and that they're shipping it to you at a capacity of, uh, you know, around 50%. Usually it's like 30 to 50%. And this battery comes in at 13.14 volts. That is perfect. When you receive your battery, I always prefer that they come in uh, between 13.1 volts and 13.2 volts. That is the, the perfect range for when you first open your battery. And then the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and charge this up and then do a discharge test to make sure that this battery is giving us the capacity that we paid for. And to charge it, I'm going to be using the Litheim 20 amp charger that they supplied me. So let's go ahead and open this up and see what's in here. Okay. And when you open it up, it looks like we have a Anderson connector, an AC wall cord, wall charger cord, and then another Anderson connector that is connected to the charger. And then we also have a product manual. Okay, this charger is really straightforward. There's no, uh, there's no changing settings or anything like that. It's made to basically charge 100 amp hour 12 volt batteries. Uh, it will charge them up to 14.6 volts at 20 amps. Uh, it's only made for lithium iron phosphate batteries. And to connect it, it looks very straightforward. We have the connections that go to the battery right here, and we have the AC plug right here. Okay, the AC plug is, um, it's a 15 gauge, there's three 15 gauge wires inside. Plug it in. Let's see what happens when we just plug it in without it being connected to anything. Okay, it's now plugged in, and we got a green light flashing that there's a little list right here that says that it is on standby because there's fully charged, which is full green, uh, constant green. Standby is a blinking green. Charging is a constant red and a fault is a blinking red. Okay, this, this, uh, this connector is rated for 50 amps, so we're all good there. Okay, and I just checked the, uh, the wiring on the DC side and it is, uh, it is four millimeter squared. Now that equates to about uh, 11, 11 gauge wire and you just make sure and connect it positive to positive connect the positive and let's go ahead and unplug it first before we connect the battery in the documentation it doesn't say how you should connect this up but I like to connect it to the battery first and then plug in the charger tighten them down so they don't move and let's plug it in and there we go it's off and running. There's a fan right here that kicks on as soon as it starts charging. Let's go ahead and check the amp hours, or the, let's go ahead and check the amps to see what we're getting. 
And look at that, we're getting 20.6 amps pushed into the battery. So it is a true 20 amp charger. And I'll come back in an hour to, uh, to see if the wiring is uh, getting warm to the touch at all. Okay, well this, uh, this Litime uh, 20 amp charger has been charging this Litime 12 volt 100 amp hour battery for about an hour. And I wanted to just touch the wiring to see if it's warm at all. And it is not. It is, it, I mean, it's, it's room temperature. It, there's no concern at all. Even though I felt like the wiring is a little bit small, uh, it's handling this Ambridge just fine. Also, I wanted to tell you uh, about, this, um, about the amount of sound that it makes. Um, if you put the meter pretty much right next to it, you know, you're looking at, uh, you're looking at a little over 50 decibels. And then if you're about three feet away, you're still looking at like 46, 47 decibels. Okay, well, the battery charger is showing that the green light is, is solid, so the battery is fully charged. But if I take a volt measurement of it, like see what the voltage of the battery, it's only 13.02, which I feel is super low for a full battery. So I'm, uh, I downloaded the app and let's go ahead and check out the app and see what the app thinks the battery voltage and state of charge is. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and open up the app now. Okay, and it comes with like a, it looks like a little guide. So easy to manage at a glance. Scan QR code for quick connection and smart management. Search for nearby smart batteries with Bluetooth, add them with one click and connect instantly. Okay, I need to register my stuff. So I'll be right back. Okay, I finally got it added. Add device, scan QR code up here where it, said, where it shows the Bluetooth symbol. There we go. Bluetooth connected, it says wear badge, check details. I don't know what wear badge is, but we'll just click there. Oh, okay. Um, this is for... <laughs> I selected off-grid and backup power, so I'm gonna put home energy storage. I'll put that, wear badge. It shows that the state of charge is 100%, and it shows the voltage as 13.5. And it says capacity is 106.4 amp hours. You can also see the cells and it says cell status normal. Okay, so you can't see the cells there. BMS, it shows the BMS is normal also. It really doesn't give you any information. Maybe I'm not finding stuff right. Temperature is 71.6 degrees Fahrenheit. Zero cycles and firmware version is 1.3.0. Uh, yeah, so the app app does give you like state of charge and voltage, but it doesn't really give any specifics on anything about the battery. Like, uh, well, especially like the, uh, the the individual cell voltages, that would be nice. Okay, well, it does say that it's 100% full and that the capacity is 106.4 amp hours. So I'm going to go ahead and test that capacity uh, and I'm going to see what I get. So I'll let you know what it is when I get back. Yeah, and even when I connect it to my tester, it shows that the voltage is 12.8. Right there. So, I don't know what's going on here, but uh, that's very deceiving. Okay, the test has started. It is a 0.1C rate discharge, so that's 10 amps. And the voltage is right around 12.7 to 12.8. So, I'm going to let this run, and we'll see what our capacity is. All right, so the capacity test is done on the Litime smart battery. So let's check out what we got for a capacity. And it looks like we have uh, 1,298 watt hours. That equates to 104.52 amp hours. So it definitely passed the test. And this test took 10 hours and 25 minutes to complete. So I'm gonna go ahead and charge this battery back up and we are gonna do some high amperage testing. Okay, and to charge this Litime battery back up, I'm gonna go ahead and use the Litime charger that came with it. But what I wanna see is, will this charger wake this battery back up? Because right now, the, the voltage of this battery is, uh, well, the battery is asleep because we, char we discharge it all the way. So the cells are protected. Yeah, it's, it's showing, oh, not even two volts. So that means this battery is 
<coughs> uh, disengage. So I want to see if this charger will charge it from completely dead. Okay, I kind of set it up to see so you can see the light and see what it does. I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in now. Ah. There we go. And plugging it in. And there it goes. Perfect, that's exactly what it should do. Okay everyone, well the Latime battery is all charged back up, so we're going to do a high amperage test. And we're gonna do this one a little different. We're gonna go ahead and push like 110 to 120 amps in it for five minutes, and then we're going to immediately push like 240 amps into it. And now the documentation says that it can do a surge of 500 amps for one second, but it really shouldn't be able to hold, you know, 230 to 240 amps for much longer than like five or 10 seconds. So we'll see how long it can hold that. I'll do it for like up to a minute. And then I've also got my shopsmith over here plugged into it. And we will immediately turn that on because that will give us our 500 amps. And we'll see if it can power all of those at the same time. And what I have over here, these here is the uh, the amp the, the amp clamp that I have attached to it right now and the voltage so we can watch those uh, as this test progresses. I also have my timer so that will be our timer for the five minutes. And then what I have here is the uh, induction cooktop that's going to be our first test and then I will be adding this griddler which will give us another 120 amps and then at the end this plug goes to my shopsmith which will give us that huge boost which I would be very surprised if it could power all of that after all of this. So let's go ahead and get started. First, we're gonna go ahead and put this at max sear. Make sure it's at 1300 watts and hit start. Start our timer. Okay, our timer is set. So let's go ahead and check out this. Uh, our amperage is 116 amps going to, through the battery right now. And our voltage is down to 12.37. So after five minutes, we'll go ahead and see where we're at. Okay, well, it's been five minutes and 20 seconds. The amperage is still 115.2 amps and the voltage is still 12.38, so that's excellent. So let's go ahead and uh, turn on the griddler and see what happens right now, okay? Our amperage is now shot up to 246 amps our voltage is 11.6 and it shut off. That is perfect. That right there is exactly what you want it to do. <clears throat> Your battery should not be uh, pulling over 200 amps or 240 amps for any longer than a few seconds, like five, 10 seconds, unless it's rated to do it further. And the documentation should show that. Next, I want to go ahead and reset this battery back up and go ahead and turn on the uh, induction cooktop to give us that 100. Sorry, the battery just turned back on, so I had to shut everything off. And uh, then I'm gonna try to shot up, shoot up my, my shopsmith to see if we can do that 500 amps. So let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, starting at the cooktop and turning on my shopsmith right now. All right, and now when it says that it can do 500 amps for for one second, I totally believe it. My clamp meter can go up to 400 amps, and check this out. It overloaded my clamp meter. So it was able to pull, and I know this shopsmith can do 400 amps of surge. So with that running 100, with that running 115 amps right now, and doing a 400 amp surge, uh, that is actually very impressive. Okay, so far this Latime battery is passing all of my tests with flying colors. Last test I want to do is a cold temperature charging protection. So I'm going to go throw this in my deep freezer for 24 hours, and then we'll see if it will try to accept a charge. Okay, so this Latime battery has been in my deep freezer uh, for two and a half days. I kind of ran into some issues and couldn't do it the next day. So it's been in there for a long time and it is rock solid freezing cold. It's got to be. 
So I'm going to go ahead and test the voltage to see if there's any voltage at the terminals. And then we're going to try to charge it using the Latime 14.6, uh, well, 12 volt battery charger. So let's check the voltage first. Okay, and the voltage on the battery actually shows 13.38. So uh, you still can use the battery. It will discharge, even though it's frozen solid. And it should. So let's go ahead and try to charge it up. Okay, and I just want to show you that uh, I was able to pull up the app. It shows a 13.3 voltage. The capacity is 85 uh, amp hours. And it does show right down here, the temperature is actually negative, four, negative 0.4 degrees Fahrenheit right now. So this, this should not charge up. Okay, I'm gonna plug it in. I'm gonna see what the lights do. It's plugged in. And it's charging. And it turned off. The one thing that I do notice on the app that's a little disappointing is that I understand why it's not charging. It's because it's too cold but the app does not tell me anything about that. It doesn't say anything about the battery being in a situation where the cold temperature charging protection has triggered. Okay, so what do I think of the Lit Time 12 volt, 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate smart battery? Um, I like the fact that uh, they're doing more with the Group 24 since it is, uh, it, that case is kind of made for RVs, which is nice. It's a smaller form factor. I love the fact that this is, uh, this is almost a full featured battery. It has Bluetooth, it has cold temperature charging protection. Um, it has all the amperage that it says it should have uh, when it comes to being able to power 100 amps continuous. Um, it shuts off after like five or 10 seconds of being uh, over amperage. And it will, it will really boost up that amperage when it really needs to. So that is nice. This battery is, it really fits the bill. Um, I can't really say anything bad about it, except for one thing, and that is the app. The app, it tells you the basics of what you need to know, um, but if you wanna go in depth about like, uh, you know, what the voltage of each cell in the battery is, or, you know, what's going on if it's not charging, or anything else like that, um, you're, you're not gonna like this app. The app just tells you what you need to know in basic terms. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions about the Litime 12 volt, 100 amp hour smart lithium iron phosphate battery, uh, please leave them in the comments. Um, I'll have a link to this in my description along with the Litime battery charger. Thank you so much again for watching this video and have a great day. Bye-bye.